you gotta press temp so type in temp and then do it again the percent so make sure you just hold shift and press 5 for the percent sign so it's percent temp percent so make sure it look like this press ok this will pop up this will be filled I just cleaned it so this will be filled and you can just delete it so I can delete this stuff now so if this says it can't you know it can't um oh this my hypercam is open that's why I can't delete it right now but when it says it can't delete it just press skip it's okay it's not gonna harm your computer or nothing so I can't delete them okay so that's all right the next thing you want to do go back to run go to start and then go to run type in run uh, press enter so here it is again now um, bear with me here so type in P R E F E T C H so let's just say prefetch so once you do that press OK and then it will be a whole bunch of files it can go to like how many gigabytes I don't know it, it depends how um, like if you don't clean your computer at all it will be like a whole bunch of files and you can all delete it so uh, it's already deleted so um you can just do control a to mark all of them and then just press delete um and it will go to your recycle bin so once you're done with that you're almost done so just like bear with me go to uh libraries so i wanna this is how i go to my computer uh settings and everything system properties so if you're windows 7 windows xp users or vista um, just go to start and then when you see a computer just right click it and then go to properties you'll see properties so when you add system properties it should look like this this is how you tell how much gigabytes you have how you know the graphics card you have the uh, gigahertz in your uh, processor and things like that so I do have a 60-bit operating system 40 gigabytes of RAM if you're if you gaming, you at least need four gigabytes of RAM or higher. If you have two, it's really going to lag. I'm sorry about that, guys, but it's going to lag. So it depends what game you're playing, by the way. So just to let you know, but just go to Advanced System Settings, and then this little window should pop up. You're in advance, so you'll see performance, you'll see user profiles, you'll see startup and recovery. So go to performance, press settings, so performance options, that will pop up. So your computer will already be in the let Windows choose what's best for me. But Windows is not choosing what's best for your computer. Because everything you see in this um, let's let Windows choose what's best for your computer. You see is everything's checked, so that's what making your computer kind of slow a little bit. If you want it to run silky smooth, just go, just check adjust for best performance. That's all you have to do. It uncheck everything, but the downside is, guys, the downside is, I'm sorry to tell you this. If you're for Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows XP, your computer, your display will actually look it will f transform to like an older version of the windows you have but for windows 8 a good thing it doesn't do that so that's a good side for that sorry about the windows 7 users and xp users and vista um sorry you can't have your silky smooth uh display but another good thing they added uh is when you're in adjust uh, for best performance it should be here uh down here it's not on windows 8 because they don't change our display but for windows 7 and your other users it should say a box right here and it should say use windows 7 display or whatever so it shouldn't change but everything else like this whatever it should be unchecked so you're pretty much good see when i apply it see the display didn't change at all so um, and you will you don't have to do a restart but on this I'm going to show you you will have to do a start so open back up performance uh, go to advanced so when you're in advanced uh, you go to go to virtual memory so virtual memory is just like memory that's like I don't explain it but it's like on your computer already so if you have 4 gigabytes right 
you can't actually use um, some of your memory from your um, RAM to your virtual memory on your computer. So it'll make games run faster, make your computer run faster, period. So the thing that you want to do is just go to custom size. It might be in system managed uh, size, but just check it in custom size. So make sure it's in that so you can uh, edit it and everything. So once you do that, uh, you can look and it says recommended. So just type in that number, maximum size, put recommended number as well. Just press set, press OK, and you will have to do a restart for your computer. But I don't have to do that because I already did it. So once you get done with that, you can just exit out of that. Uh, one thing I do want to show you is go to your start, like your search panel, like your bar, um, and type in this cleanup. So you will see this cleanup, and it will look like that. So it's called it's calculating all of the trash and everything from your computer. And once it get done with calculating, it will go to this, and it will delete your downloaded program files, your temporary internet files, recycle bin temporary files, thumbnails, and everything. So. You can uncheck it if you're not okay with it deleting that, like the problems and all, all of that. And it tells you like the megabytes that's um, in there. So I'm actually going to, no, I'm not going to delete that because uh, I need them. So don't delete the ones that's unchecked. Don't, don't check them for, so it can delete it. So uh, once everything's good, you know, you look through it and you're checking or unchecking, uh, just go to okay. And just press delete files so it's going to delete all the trash from your computer that you selected or unselect or whatever so it would delete all the trash and um, yeah it's going to be good it's going to make your computer run way faster uh, it'd be super fast actually um, I'm going to show you one more tip after that and uh, yeah so I'm going to come back once this get done and yeah I'll see you later uh, stay by your computer you know make sure everything's running good oh it's done now okay so cool um, once it get done it's going to disappear so as you just saw it just vanished on me so it's done now your computer should be running smooth a little bit now so the next thing that you want to do just go to libraries uh, go to this defragment um let me see where is that located hmm let me find it i'm going to come back once i find it all right, YouTube, we back. I found how to do it. I'm sorry about that. It's so easy. I'm, I don't know my brain. Um, so go to search. Okay. Uh, can I search pop up? Okay. So search. Just type in D, and then put the frag. Well, okay. So once you do the frag, it will look like this. Um, well, I don't know what that was okay let's do it one more time sorry about that go to the frag all right so when you open up the frag um it's going to mostly clean out everything like the frag everything on your computer um uh, i don't know why my the frag don't thing one don't want to open sorry about that guys you got to see that but yeah that's what it mostly do it just deletes everything so when yours pop up it will say optimize and then once you click optimize it's going to optimize everything that is going to defrag and then just press defrag and it will defrag so you can defrag your hard drive and that will actually clean out everything that will make your computer silky smooth so if you're not gaming on your computer and you're just running the internet doing emails and you want a fast computer to do that then just do what i just did like the tips i told you and showed you uh and your computer will be fast you will be reading emails right away <laughs> so and you will be playing games right away fast no lag or whatever but if you do have two gigabytes and you do this your computer will run faster on games but it still might lag so that's the downside i just recommend you get you know some more ram or you just buy a new laptop or a computer whatever man come on man just um do anything to help your computer you know computer is just like you you know 
um, if you treat it bad, you know, it's going to do bad stuff to you back. So, it's like a it's like a child or a pet, you could say. So, just take care of your computer. Make sure you clean it every day. If you have a virus protector, make sure you, you know, scan your um, computer every once in a while. Don't wait like a month and then scan it and a month later. You know, just scan it like every two weeks or so, you know, once in a while. So, everything can be okay just in case if you do have a virus. Um, it can scan it and get that virus right out because your viruses do make your computer lag sometimes it depends what kind of virus you get because it is different kind of viruses so I hope you like that video YouTube uh, I hope you enjoyed it um please like that please like the button you know click the like button uh, subscribe um I'm in a rest to go but yeah um so just subscribe if you're new to my channel I do do gameplays check out my new um check out my new video I just made that will be in the description the link uh we did some awesome race with me and my friend fusion 05 uh, if you don't know him I will be putting the link in his description like my description uh so thank you for watching very much you know the game machine all day man team game machine um you know join the team as well uh you can request videos and everything so i'm gonna end this video here um hope this helped you really hope it helped you comment in um in my comment box if it didn't help you and i will you know uh, read all the comments and i will comment right back once it pop up and my notification that you comment i will comment right back and help you out so uh thanks for watching guys like always peace i'm signing out deuces